kind of steamy out there. How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. It is Monday, July something. Yep. Monday, July <laughs> something. Whatever, whatever Monday is before mini season. If you don't know what mini season is, uh, down here in Key West, we have something called mini lobster season. And they open lobster for two days uh, for the recreational people to go out and have some fun and um, go crazy before the commercial season opens up. So that's what's happening this week, this Wednesday, Thursday. It's Monday. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to just shoot out for maybe just an hour or so. I'm going to hop around a couple spots, give me an idea of how lobster season is going to look this year. Um, typically early in the season you can have a pretty good idea based on how many lobsters you see on each spot. And it fluctuates quite a bit, but um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out and check uh, some of the lobster spots. I figured I'd bring the camera along and just, I know you guys, some of you guys enjoy this type of stuff. Um, oh, one thing I did want to mention. So I'm wearing this hat. I put these up on the website and a lot of people I think have no idea what this is. And once you see it, you can't unsee it, but it, it's a it's a banana leaf, which started as an inside joke from one of the very first videos. And uh, in the banana leaf, it says KWW, Key West Waterman. So a lot of people were emailing me going, what the heck is the weird leaf on the hat? If you look closely, it has a KWW in it. So uh, there's a bunch of new hats and uh, shirts and stuff back in stock on the website. Anyways, we're gonna grab the dive gear and we'll head out and take a peek. This is like really, really low tide. Which makes me wonder if the water's not gonna be crazy dirty. Let's see when we get out there. It's really sad. Oh Jesus. It's got prop scars on them. Watch where you're going, people. Got some coral heads. The lobster right there, I can see him from the surface. <laughs> Maybe we'll hop in and take a look. So first spot was absolutely stacked, um, but the only, say tricky part, not problem, tricky part is there's a ton of small ones there, so if you're picking out lobsters, the small ones kind of will jump around and make a mess, um, but conservatively, conservatively, there was probably, I don't know, 80, 90 lobsters there, <laughs> but um, we're going to keep moving along, see what else we got. I'm sure somebody has that number, um, so like to hop around quite a few different areas and uh, see how how everything else is looking, so we'll keep going.
So I hopped in on a few of the shallower coral heads. Everyone looked good. A lot of lobster on them, but there are a lot of shorts, which is not uncommon, but um, I'm gonna now go hit a different style spot. I wanna hit a couple different style spots and just see uh, if any of the different areas are holding more or less or if one size is bigger. So uh, we're gonna cruise along and check a different area. So we drifted more of a isolated spot. And what I mean by isolated is it's more like potholes than it is like coral heads or big ledges. And um, it's all pretty much what I expected other than, again, a lot of small ones. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a reflection of how this season will be, but plenty of lobsters to be had. Uh, just like I said, a lot of small ones. So I'm gonna check one more style area. We've hit shallow coral heads. Um, this is more like isolated hard bottom and then now we're gonna run and check some actual like longer ledges and we'll see how those look and um, pretty much we'll know everything I need to know hopefully by the, the next spot. So let's go check it out. I think I've seen everything I need to see. Um, seems like a pretty average year. A lot, lot of lobsters, half small, half big, uh, or keepers. Um, so I don't think I really need to see any more. I didn't, just to be clear, I didn't hit like the cream of the crop spots. I essentially just want to get out in the area, see where they are, if there's a decent amount of keepers, and um, kind of tells me everything I need to know. I've got hundreds and hundreds of lobster spots, so it should be good. But. 
Um, that is all we've got on this one. It'll be a short one. If you are interested in seeing us come back and catch the lobsters, uh, make sure to tune in next week. It'll probably be, this may be a Thursday episode, so it may, it'll probably be on Monday. Um, but make sure to tune back in. We'll hopefully get some lobsters in the boat and cook them up. Appreciate you tuning in. Any questions, as always, leave them in the comments, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.